Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. If you guys are new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. This is going to be a reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I'm going to do a Celtic cross reading, you guys. So if you need a personal reading, there is a link in the description box. Uh, specials for the next two, uh, three, two days. So go and grab your reading. All right, so let's get into this and see what the messages are here for you, Virgo. Okay. Out of the deck, right out of the deck. Seven of Swords in the past position. Okay, so something in the past. A level of deceit, a level of lying, of theft, uh, dishonesty, or someone ran away from a connection. Okay, let's see. Something in the present here. Okay. And now there's some spying and some stalking. So the person who ran away from you is now watching you, Virgo. Okay. They're watching you. They're also gossiping. They're also talking about you, Virgo. Um, and I don't feel like it's really in nice nice ways. They're, they're not giving you your... Um, they're not giving you a... They said a fair trial. Somebody's not giving you a fair trial. Okay. They're, they're talking badly. They're saying not very nice things. We do have a lot of air so far. Well, we have double air here, so it could be an air sign. Let's see. What's the challenge? Oh! <laughs> it's the lovers, okay? There's definitely someone that there was a connection with uh, who's in love with you, and their challenge is to be vulnerable. Their challenge is to open up. Their challenge is to... Why is this a challenge? Why is love so hard? Uh, make a decision. They're, they're, this person, uh, I feel like they sit in this position, like there's some kind of a breakup or on the verge of a breakup or a divorce. There's an argument. Um, having a hard time living with regret. So they're bad mouthing you. Okay. They're bad. Somebody's bad man. There's Gemini. So, I mean, I don't know where this is going, but yeah, somebody's, they're blaming you. Somebody's blaming you. Okay, let's see what's driving this reading. Huh. Queen of Wands. So there might be someone in their life. Could be an air, a fire sign. Um, who they're... Um, who's influencing them. Oh my gosh. There's, an, there's some kind of an influence. That's what the driving part of the reading is. They're being influenced by someone to see you in a negative light. Wow, what the heck? Um, they're also, it could be a fire sign you're dealing with where, you know, it's an energy of being bold, being in like this power, it's a, I'm hearing power play. There's a power play. Somebody might be trying to make it look like maybe you ran away. Maybe you ran away from something. Somebody's pissed. They're very angry. Let me get a clarifying card here for this queen of wands. Oh, something about uh, no commitment, not committing. So whoever ran away in the past, it was just like done with the lies, done with the cheating, done with the bullshit, right? Whoever made his decision, maybe blocked. Um, either somebody's whispering in their ear and telling them all this bad stuff and there's conversations going on about you and them or something about the relationship, how you guys couldn't come together. Almost like blaming you. It feels like a blaming you. But I'm also seeing if this was someone you were dealing with, they were non-committal, and it, for some reason it's your fault, right? Like, I'm not going to commit to you because you know, because it's your fault. You know what I mean? I, like, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand that. Let me see. That's crowning down. What's going on in this person's head? Oh, they yeah, they haven't fully left Virgo. Obviously, look, if a relationship has ended and somebody's walked away or both walked away, whatever, and somebody's bad-mouthing you, in their mind, the relationship's not over. They're still holding on to that energy. Okay, so this, somebody's got their foot like partially out the door. This is what I feel like is going on. This person has their foot partially out the door. Partially out the door. In their mind. All right, let's look more into the future and see what's going on here. 
Okay. Hmm. Something's coming out in the open. Something's going to be revealed. Let's see. What is going to be revealed? Oh. Some of you are going to get um, this person's going to return or try to make a love. They're going to come out in the off the, the open. What's causing this shift? What's causing this shift? Oh, a cutoff. Someone's blocked another person or cut another person off. Or someone's a bully and they think they own another person. Okay. So th there's a romantic offer coming in in the future. Let me take a look. Let's look specifically at you, Virgo. You and your advice. Or what's going on with you here? A little more definitive. Oh. Hmm. Page of Cups and the King of Wands. Some of you want an apology from somebody. Or you're seeking some kind of closure from this person. It's almost like you wish to have communication with them. Now, some of you also might be, be communicating with someone else in, in the advice. That could be your advice to keep communicating with somebody else. Okay, not give any time to any kind of deceptive energy. However, some of you might still believe that this person is sincere or might have some kind of sincerity by coming back into your life or making some kind of return. Um, or that there's enough time has gone by and someone's learned from the past and tries to come back. I feel like this person is, you know, it's like on one hand they're saying all this bad stuff about you, but I feel like they're being heavily influenced by another person because of what they're telling them. And the other person's kind of backing them up saying, yeah, 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 your person, that's no good, that's no good. Um, and they might have their own personal motives where they're in some kind of fantasy mode with them. But at the same time that they're seeing or communicating this bad stuff or just spying or gossiping, they're also sitting with the Eight of Cups, like thinking about you, you know? So someone hasn't resolved some issues. I feel like this person has not resolved. They're, they're still holding on. This is what I feel. Let me, let me take a look at them specifically. Yeah, see? They're in wait. They're sitting here in wait, okay? Trying to see things differently. Hmm. Pisces energy there. So they're, they're they're pausing right now. This person has not completely left. And I'm telling you, even if there is no communication whatsoever, they're still attached energetically. Because they're they got they they got your name on their mouth in their mouth still. Which means they're still talking about you. That's not somebody who's over. It's done. Let's see. Get a clarifying card for that. They might not be. Okay, yeah. See? Mm, Ten of Cups. So there may be an apology. You may apologize. There might be some communication between the two of you. Okay. Do after some kind of split or breakup. I do see a love offer coming in, coming out of the blue, coming out of the dark into the light with the sun. This person, I feel like they are in love with you. They want the happily ever after with you. But they're they're waiting. They're pausing. They're not doing anything about it. They're being very passive, is how I feel. Okay. So in terms of them saying, or like speaking about you, for some of you, they're saying bad things, nasty things, um, and it's attached to their ego. And for others of you, they're, I want to say they're, they're gossiping or they're just talking about you, not necessarily bad, but they're, they are having communication and they are watching you and they are spying they're struggling to see if you're with another person because they're not really able to see that for some reason. And they're they're tremendously curious because they can't really see something here. Okay. Let me take a look at the hopes and fears. Yeah, healing. They want healing in the relationship. They want renewal. They're hopeful about that. That you guys can talk. Um, they're hopeful you'll accept some kind of an apology or that you'll forgive them. Let's see the outcome. 
Okay, King of Pentacles. You could have a connection with an Earth sign, but let's take a look. Hmm. This person views you as like in a much higher tier than them. There might be a little bit of intimidation, but it feels like the outcome is coming together and getting in alignment or getting on the same page, okay? That's what I feel like the outcome of this. However, that's if, you know, you guys decide to talk and work it out. I do feel like they are going to reach out to you. I do feel like they are going to try to talk to you. This could be an Aquarius. Um, I feel like they want to try to get back with you or, or, or work stuff out, overcome, have kind of a new beginning, start over. Let's see. Okay, this person, they've been working on themselves. They have a fear that they've lost you forever. Every time their phone rings or there's a text sound, they hope it's you. They're realizing all the mistakes they've made. They're holding on to the memories of you and them they want to apologize they need your forgiveness Virgo they can't move on they can't move on they couldn't so it feels like there's a struggle right now to move forward with you but it's a struggle to let go this person's in limbo they're in like some kind of purgatory they cannot move on without you even if they're with another person even if there's only friendship that you will offer they still cannot they just can't let go it could be a Taurus or an Aquarius or a Leo. I'm not feeling Scorpio. Okay. I'm not feeling that. They could have that somewhere in their chart, but yeah. I knew you were the one when I met you. Oh my gosh, Virgo. There was some kind of break in the past. Something ended and it ended abruptly and harshly. We're meant to be together. I will wait as long as it takes for a shot with you. Yeah, this person's not letting you go, Virgo. I'm sorry. I couldn't be what you needed me to be. I know that we have a soul connection. I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. I underestimated how important you are in my life. The distance between us kills me. You deserve better than me. I know it. I want to treat you the way you deserve, though. And they want a chance. You tame my demons. <laughs> because you're the demon whisperer Virgo <laughs> I don't feel like I deserve you but I want to make you happy I miss your smile I am afraid of commitment oh my gosh this person's really messed up I need to tell you the truth though and that is I ran because I wasn't ready for you they were the runner this is the person who ran they ran away they were scared fearful of commitment and and to me it's more like fearful of you getting to know me and and then realizing that I'm not good enough for you. Oh my god. Let's see. Messages of love. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Okay, Virgo. Addiction affecting this relationship. Yeah, this person's addicted to you. Like they just can't let you go. I mean, I know it's like you can't really get addicted to a person. <laughs> but there's this uh, kind of like possessive energy here. like, And it affects the relationship because I feel like this person may be smothering or clingy or extremely needy. That kind of energy. Right? A lot of obstacles in the way of moving forward. Um, play hard. And I feel like play hard to get. Don't accept forgiveness right away. I feel like these are your messages here. So like don't play games, but be hard to get, right? Because you, it, what's the opposite of being hard to get? <laughs> then you're you're easy to get and then, nobody, you know, you're not appreciated. You know, but you don't want to be so standoffish, I guess. Um, but I'm, it's forgiveness is in the reverse. Some of you are just like, no, you're not forgiving somebody. You're going to take your time with that, Virgo. I feel like you're going to take your time with that. I don't know. Somebody here. Forgive them for leaving you, for abandoning you. Okay. Is that the issue? I've been watching your socials and admiring your pictures. Yeah, they're stuck on you. 
camera reminiscing making it learning from the past yeah somebody's got their eye on you looking at your pictures you get this person like really in a bad way virgo they're in a bad way i feel like this they're in betwixt in between even if there's somebody else they just don't compare to you the chaser fear of abandonment chasing codependence so this person was a runner I feel like we got this message the other day. They were a runner, and now they're chasing. Or you ran away, and now they're chasing. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking. Yep. Shock, sudden change, shocking news coming in. Surprise and epiphany, transformation. There's your Scorpio card. Okay, so this person, they're going through shock. It's almost like I can't believe that you agreed to the breakup. I can't believe that you uh, you left. I can't believe that you dumped me. It's like nobody does that to me. Nobody rejects me. People are usually all over me or wanting to be with me. They chase after me. They're addicted to me. This person's got an ego thing going on. And this feels to me like a tower moment that this person is having. A big tower moment. They realize you're their soulmate. <laughs> and they know. I feel like they always knew. They knew it since the beginning, since they met you. They probably ran away from that. Almost as if maybe you were too good to be true. Like we saw the King of Pentacles and the Empress there. Somebody might be on the cusp of uh, Virgo Libra. But uh, being uh, this person, I feel like, viewed you. And they still view you as, as better than them. In some way. It's almost like a little bit of a jealousy thing that they keep hidden. Really messed up individual here. Not healthy. Yeah, they want to date you. Get back out. Meet up with you. Setting a date. Maybe it's an online thing. Some of you are just like, no, you're going to date somebody else. Or meet somebody new. Or you already have. Yeah. You're going to get clarity and truth about this situation about this person hmm was this your twin flame or was it not virgo okay looking at pictures missing you i feel like this person's all over they're looking at you like even pictures in their mind okay you might not have any pictures or if you exchange pictures in the past or old videos or they just or just maybe no pictures were exchanged and it was just one on one face to face. They've got like a snapshot of your face in their mind. They can't get rid of it. It's almost like preoccupation. I know some of you are like, oh, well, that's because I'm the ish. OK, yeah, the mirror mirroring each other. Wow. Mirror. They see themselves in you. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like you're going to get some communication from them and that they're going to want to sit and meet or meet up and talk, have coffee, elevate the relationship, rebuild it, or build a friendship at least. So I'll take whatever they can get. And you're going to find this out. The next time you see a dragonfly, you're going to find this out. That that's going to be your message. That's, your, that's going to be your hint. Like, yes, this is for you. The next dragonfly you see. This is your reading. Healthy choices, Virgo. Self-love, self-care. Healing your heart. Mm. Healing healing from toxic or addiction or addictive abusive relationship, Virgo. That's where you're that's what you're going through. Whether a person was yeah, there's backstabbing. So whether you know, it was a toxic relationship or just a toxic person, or you were toxic and you're healing from your own shit, whatever the situation is, it feels to me like it's not completely over. And there's something here to do with a lack of closure because this is running away abruptly. This is not, okay, let's sit down and mutually agree or mutually disagree. The relationship can't come, go forward and having a nice closure. You know, not all relationships do that, but um, there's some kind of a need here for that to be maybe i don't know for you you might need it maybe you don't um they, they do something just anything <laughs> anything they don't want you to put them in that coffin virgo they don't want to know that this is a tragic ending after all that time that's what i'm hearing after all that time this is what this is how it ends i'm hearing 
after all we invested, after everything that happened, this is the way it ends? Seriously? Somebody's not accepting the ending. Which, if you're, you know, Virgo, wanting to get the closure, then that's fine. But if you don't, it's really not your problem. People have to deal with themselves. You know, if they're just coming in to see closure and they're hopeful to come back or try to like fix everything and that's something that you want okay fine you know as long as you have your discernment about what you're dealing with here if you if you don't and you just are like okay no i'm sorry i'm not interested then say that okay look oh my god six cups childhood children revisiting revising old dreams or plans embracing your inner child the return of people or romances from your past romanticizing how things used to be Somebody here is doing that. Or, or it could be this person. It, it's definitely them. Okay, I've already said that. I don't know about you. Maybe you are. Into, okay, news of exciting opportunities coming your way, Virgo. I feel like the message here is finish what you start. Um, this is the page of wands. And this has a lot to do with um, new projects or new creative ideas. Um, and being more active and pursuing those things right now. I feel like that's your message here. And this person's pers very passionate about you will be pursuing you. They're, they, they know they need to move on. <laughs> they know they, knew, they need to make that big life change. Forget about it. Change the priority. Leave the situ situation alone. But they can't. So you're their passion. You, they're pursuing you. They have a tremendous amount of anxiety right now. Here. Sleepless nights. They can't refocus their thoughts on positive things because they just have this 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 just like it's all it's like shock. It's like the mental image. Okay. Two aces. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands, both opportunities, both new opportunities for both of you. So, you know, depending on where you are, like there's a new opportunity here for you to be fully finished and have that conversation with someone or um, it's definitely new beginnings, potentials, but I'm not sure in what direction it's going to go here because we feel like we're seeing that somebody here wants uh, a, an opportunity to invest or reinvest. Virgo, this is tough. This is 11, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, look, five of pentacles here is what I'm talking about. There's, there's an energy of feeling left out in the cold, negative thinking. I feel like, um, I don't know. I'm not going to read into that because I just kind of feel like there's someone here who feels really lost. Someone here feels really, really, really lost without the other person. Maybe two people feel that way. You might feel that way too. You come together possibly to try again. Possibly to try again, Virgo. For some of you, it's just to release this energy. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. So this is like heavy duty. Virgo, this is a heavy duty kind of uh, reading. I want to take a look and see what else you have here. Open relationship. No commitment. Casual openness. This person would even take that if you just want to date. <laughs> Go slow. Just to date. Let's see if we can see if we can't fix something here, right? That's what I'm hearing. Oh, there's twin flame again, Virgo. Whew. Twin flame readings are always the toughest, right? Because they're the deepest lessons. But I feel like I feel like I give every reading I give has twin flame elements to it that are that are struggles struggling there's a union here yeah so i feel like you and this person struggled to get into some kind of union right so i feel like 
Look at this. Twin flame. We've got open relationship, which is no commitment, being very casual. Then we've got dating. Then we've got union. I mean, this is progressive. Okay? It almost feels like the message here is that's how it was supposed to happen. You might have been in a very casual, non-committal relationship with this person for a long time. You might have been. And maybe you got into the dating period as well with them. And then for some of you, maybe got into a serious relationship and then there was an abrupt ending. Or you didn't get to any of these or only halfway through. No matter what, there was some kind of an abrupt ending. And there's this unfinished business. Oh, look, triangle. Choices. Someone was undecided during the, the about during about making a choice during a dating period of the relationship, or there might have been like a third party involvement. Hmm. A lot of texting, phone calls, and online between you and this person. Like that was it looks like the mode of your communication. Uh, because somebody was really busy with their career or work, made that a priority. Huh. But they were courting or, or desired to be courted. So I feel like somebody, maybe there's just an energy of someone just wanting to have someone or have you there. Uh, and Or you, maybe this was you, you weren't ready to commit. There was an interference. It doesn't have to be a third party romantic. It could also be someone's career interfered. Okay. Surprise gift coming, Virgo. Could be around the holidays. This is unexpected. Look, there's the gossip. For some of you, there's a surprise gift coming from a neighbor. Maybe your person is your neighbor. Okay, You're, but you are getting a, a surprise gift from the one who's talking about you. Definitely. Yeah, they're going to be sending you something um, for the holidays. So it could come be on your doorstep, could be in your mailbox. There's something coming in. Some kind of surprise gift. Let me see the physical. Let's see if we can see what this person looks like or their physical features. Well, either yours or theirs. Okay, someone's of average height. Um, someone that doesn't have any hair. They're bald. We have someone that has green eyes. Okay. We also have someone that has very blonde hair. That's platinum right there. Blonde hair. Someone's tattooed. And someone wears glasses. Also, someone's got the man bun. Where's the man bun? Maybe they work out. They wear a man bun. Someone's got curly hair, very curly hair. So you can mix and match and blend. And we also have someone that has blue eyes. Anything else? Someone who's very short. And someone who's muscular. Okay, that's either you or this person. All right, and they're just kind of like identifiers. Oh, okay, what else do you need to know here, Virgo? Any other messages for Virgo about this? All right, someone's moving, moving in. There may, that may, might be a topic of conversation with this person or a change of residence. Okay, there's your air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you are definitely dealing with this. This is an air sign. Okay. Might have an air sign in your life who's moving. Okay. Some of you, your gift is you're getting a new pet. <laughs> you're getting a new pet. All right. Patience. Just a few more months. Good things are going to come to you in a few more months. Yeah, like around Christmas or January. Make room for the new beginning. There's a new beginning coming to you, Virgo. That's for sure. Yes, luck's on your side. So whatever, you know, whatever's going on in your life that you've been kind of just wishing or hoping for change, what's going to change is going to be in your favor, okay? There's a love spell. Oh, my gosh. Somebody's got a love spell on you, Virgo. 
it's the person who's unavailable or who has walked away from the relationship. Hmm. They try to manifest you back in with a love spell. Maybe you walked away. Yeah, this person is like, oh my gosh. Commitment? Oh, gosh, Virgo. I feel like somebody is trying to manifest commitment with you. In, in time, right? They're waiting for the, for the cycle. They're so this is very calculated. They know exactly when to come in. They're going to come in. Going to come in with almost like it's, it feels like almost like a reason to come in. They need a reason. Like a reason to show up. Okay. All right. Let's do your charms. Look at this. It's like a big pile. All right. You've got Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Pisces. Very significant for you. Okay. 1987, 56, 49, 85, August 29, September 12th, August 23rd, September 18th. 1972, 1974, 1963, 37. Yeah, I'm using my spoon here. Nah, I'm not. Uh, August 31st or age 31. You have 43. September 6, 52. September, yeah, 6 or 9th. Okay, so January is going to be October is significant. You only have a few more days left. Does something significant happen in October or January or will be? All right, let's look at the initials here. All right, I'm hearing Hart. Maybe that's somebody's last name. Hart. Okay. Sharon. Or someone says Shar or Shar. Sharon. Okay. I hear my little guy is so loud. Can you hear him? <laughs> All right. Tina or Christina. Shart. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. <laughs> I'm hearing Robert or Roberta or Roberts. Um. Let me get this so you can see them. I'm like all over the place. Okay. Let's see. Cash. Maybe somebody's last name is Cash. Birch. I guess they're giving me... They're giving me... Okay, I'm seeing carbs. Maybe you're doing carbs or something. Rita. Okay. Okay. Aura. Aura. Oh, okay. Someone has, there's three A's in somebody's name. That's odd. Three A's. I'm hearing Patsy. Okay. I'm hearing Cora. Someone's a cop. Uh, let's see. Someone has their PhD. Uh, somebody works at PBS. Okay. Hmm. Cherry or Sherry, I'm hearing. Okay. Uh, Pitts or Pitt, last name. Pitt or Pitts. Okay, so you have an R. We have Ralph. You have an O. You have a P. It could be Rob or Robert. Did I say that? I think I did. Uh, Portia. Somebody's name is Portia. We have the letter T. There's the letter S. Initial S. We have a B. I. H. C. We have two H's in somebody's name. And the letter E. Alright, Virgo. Let's get your charm. Let's see what we come up with. All right, Virgo. 
Okay, music, very significant. Music is very significant to this relationship. Singing or instruments or some kind of music. Um, something to do with a song. Okay, there's also a black kitty. Somebody's got a few cats. More than one. Well, we have a black, a black cat. Some of you are getting a, you're going to be getting a kitten. Okay, you also have a fish. This feels like, obviously, Pisces energy. Maybe somebody goes fishing or has big Billy Bass somewhere on their, <laughs> somewhere on their wall. Okay, connection to a fish or you're eating fish. Or there might be a Christian significance to some of you. You also have a butterfly. So if you see a butterfly anywhere, this is a message for you. Maybe you just have a beautiful connection. It's about transformation and change, so Virgo. Okay. And then the cartoon kitty. Cartoon kitty. We have a black and white cat or black and white cats. There's also a key. Hmm. This is a short key. Oh, short key. That short key, um, that's something to do with a computer or keystrokes, I'm hearing. Somebody put keystrokes on your computer, on your, um, your keyboard. That's kind of stalkery. Keystrokes, recording your keystrokes, watch out for that. You also have a dashund. Somebody's got a really lean figure and short legs or short arms, <laughs> but it feels like lean, they're lean, long body, but shorter legs. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Interesting message for you guys. I hope you enjoy that. That's a little bit shorter, but that's okay. Don't forget, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And I'm actually going to be uploading tomorrow because I have plans as soon as I'm done this tonight. So uh, I have to go get ready. But I'm, tomorrow I'm, I'm actually going to upload. I thought I would have time today for the VIPs. Sorry, you guys. It'll be up tomorrow, okay? I will see you all back here tomorrow, though. Uh, love you guys. Have a fantastic night. And I will see you later. Bye. You go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us